In this video, we're going to look at the new Rose Rocket boards, how they work, changes to your workflow, and I'll show you how to use all of the new features that they come with. First, let's take a look at what's changed. Besides a beautiful new design that will be available across all boards, there are a few things that have been moved around. The first is the column customizer. Previously, this was on the right, but it's now located beside filters on the left-hand side. Second is quick actions. Previously, there were buttons at the top of the navigation, but all quick actions can be done using the list drop-down menu. Lastly is the side panel details. Previously, you could select an entire row and it would open the side panel. Now, you have to use the first row, which will open up your panel. Next, let's take a look at the features that Boards provides to you. First is data exports. You can now download list data directly to your device using the export CSV function. When selected, you're able to rename the list and select how many rows you want exported. The only thing to note here is that exports will use the data that's showing directly on your list. So if you want all the data that you have to be exported, just make sure all of the columns are selected. Once you click download, your CSV will be ready right on your device. Boards come with advanced filter criteria to help you narrow down your search. When you create a filter, you'll now see the option is not, which lets you exclude results from the list depending on what you select. In this example, I want to see all equipment where the status is not inactive, and this will be applied directly to your list. You can also layer filters on top of each other. If I want to add the subtype is equal to trailer and low boy, this will also be accounted for in your results. Boards also has a number of new ways for you to visualize your data. When you open the side panel, you'll see it's very similar to the one that we had previously. We now have a new option to open this in center view. The best part about this is that Rose Rocket will remember your selection, so next time you click into a details, it will open in that format. Now let's take a look at some of the quick actions you can do directly from the list to help you work more efficiently. The first one is keyboard navigation. You can now work through the list using only your arrow keys. The second is inline editing. You can now update fields directly from the list without having to go into the details page. Once your selection is made, Rose Rocket will save it for you automatically. Next is columns. You now have the ability to pin columns to keep them visible as you scroll through your list. Once a column is pinned and saved, they will now be kept visible as you navigate through your list.